Hello, uh, on this video series, I want to talk about the material handling library. If you are familiar with the process modeling library, you're ready to watch these videos because this library is just an extension of the other one, or you can say that it is an improvement. So let's see what this library has to offer. This library improves the process modeling library in three particular elements. The first one is the conveyors. We already had conveyors in the process modeling library, but the conveyors were pretty basic. In this library, you have much better conveyors, more options, you have stations that can work with the conveyors and different types of conveyors. The second thing is the cranes. Even though you could actually build cranes with any logic in general without needing this library, having them is just an improvement because they are ready to use and this improves the speed of your development. And finally, you have the transporters. Of course, you already had transporters in the process modeling library in the form of resources, but these transporters are better. You can control the way they move better, and you also have obstacle avoidance and also free space movement. So these are the three elements that make the material handling library special. Let's go through each of them. For the conveyors, you have three types of conveyors, the rollers, this is the only conveyor that actually makes the movement of each item independent of the others, even though the conveyor can move at a constant speed. Then you have the belts, which are the typical things you can see, for example, in the airport, when you pick up your luggage, all the items move together. And finally, you have fixed cells which is very similar to the belt, and you may even have a belt, but you have fixed spaces for each item. Now, generally, fixed cells can be quite complicated. This library offers the most simple version of this kind of conveyor. Then let's see what you have as cranes. You have the jeep crane, which is this kind of crane that rotates and has this hook, and you have the overhead crane, which is this structure that slides through rails and you have a hook that moves horizontally and up and down to pick up items. So these are the two cranes that are ready and if you need other kind of cranes you can always use the other available methods in any logic in order to build different ones. But these are clearly the most used. And finally you have the transporters. The transporters are very similar to what we had before. You can have a forklift, for example, and they move through paths. You can control the paths much better in this library. And if you don't want to use the paths, you can just make the forklifts move around freely in, in space. What is interesting also in this library is that you can select each of these items and define them as obstacles and the forklifts as transporters will avoid the obstacles in order to reach the goal. So on this series of videos, we'll see all the details that are related to the material handling library, so you can be aware of all the techniques and elements that you can use in order to build more robust models.